Hi everyone, Tracy here with the Idea Closet and Paper Closet Designs. Today I wanted to put together a little video showing you how to um, download, find, and open your files that you purchase from companies online. It seems like every day I get an email or in the middle of class somebody says I can't find my files or I didn't know how to download my files. So I thought it would be a good idea to put together this short little video. I'm in my scrap chip just because I've just downloaded some things to work on for um, the design team project that I'm working on this week. And I thought while I was here, I would show you really quick how to do this. So here are the files that I've purchased. Now, it might be a little bit different depending on which company you are buying them from. Um, if you're at F SVG Addicts or um, SVG Cuts, wherever, they, they'll be in different places. But the process is the same. So let's go ahead and we're going to do this um, uh, Easter title and bunnies and I'm going to click on download options and then I'm just going to click on the actual file. And what will happen is it's going to download and it's going to take a minute for that to show up. It's right over here and it's downloading. Um, my little flashing sign shows me that it's downloading. And now I can click on this and have it show me in the folder, which is the easy way to do it, and that's how I would normally tell you to do it. But just in case that doesn't pop up or you're on a different operating system, I want to show you the next step. So I am using Windows 10. If you are on a Mac or you're using Windows 7 or 8, the steps are going to be a little bit different, but in the end, it's pretty much all the same. So once you have your image downloaded, you'll come to where your files are. Um, open up your File Explorer tab. And unless you have previously changed it, most of your files are going to download right into your download area. So if I go ahead and click on Downloads, and then I am looking for the MSC Easter title. So I need to kind of scroll down here. And as you can see, I download lots and lots of things. Um, I do usually save mine to a flash drive and then try and clean this up every once in a while, but it's been a while since I've done that. So MSC Easter Titles, let's see. And there it is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And now I need to extract it. So when you have a folder show up that has a zipper on it, that means that the file is compressed. The reason files can compress is because there's a lot of information and it would take a really long time to download that. And so the simple layman's term is they put it all in a file, they zip it up, they compress it all nice and tight and send it to you, and then you get to open it. So you can come up here to where it says extract. Or if you're on, I believe Windows 7 and 8 does not have this extract, you can right click on it. Either way works. And then you'll hit extract all. And another window is gonna pop up. And it's gonna tell you that you can select where you want to place your files. If I were to just hit extract right now, it's gonna open them up and keep them open in my downloads file. Now I tell everybody, that if you're taking my classes to set up a folder that says Tracy's classes or whatever, or if you find that you download a lot from one company, you might want to set up a folder it, with that company's name. It makes it a lot easier to find your files. So because I have a file set up, I'm going to hit my Browse button, and it's going to bring up another window that I can navigate to where I want to save my folders. And I have mine on my desktop. I'm going to click Desktop. And they are right here under SVG Files. So if I open the SVG Files, there are the ones that I already have. And I'm just going to go ahead and select File because this is where I want to put it. And then I will hit the Extract button down on the bottom. It's telling me how long or how much it, it um, has left to complete the download. They go pretty fast, usually. And then a window pops up. Now, there, I should have showed you beforehand. Um, when you hit the download button, there's a, little, um, there's a little area that you can check or uncheck, and it will say open up the area. Or if you leave it unchecked, then it won't open it up. So here is 
the folders and they are under my desktop under my SVG and we have um, the basic card well then we have them in Illustrator, DXF, GSD, all of the different files that they come in and you can go ahead and open them up. So if I wanted to um, look at the Bow Bunny picture, I could just click on it and there it is, except my computer is really slow when I'm recording so it's going to take it a minute to show up. We're just going to close that out. But if I wanted to come down to my, see, there it is. Isn't he cute? I'm going to make a scrapbook page out of him. If I am in my Silhouette Studio and I want to use that, I would go to File and Open. And then I'm going to navigate to where I saved those, which happen to be in my desktop. <clears throat> it's under SVG Files. And there it is. So if I open up my SVG files, there's my um, Easter title. We'll go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open it up right in Silhouette, ready to go. And it's the same with Cricut. Um, I've done a few videos showing you how to download things into Cricut. The most important thing to remember is you're going to download it first. Then you need to um, open up your download folders find the folder that you downloaded and extract it or uncompress it and then save it into another folder to open. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and have a great day.